It's all about what companies are doing with their data in order to improve the way they run their business, whether that's efficiency gains, new market development, better customer service, whatever. What we're looking at is that most business intelligence remains backward looking and is focused on traditional reporting. But this is where we're going, information about what's happening now and what's likely to happen. That's where the competitive differentiation lies. Big data isn't just about volume. That is absolutely clear. We're talking about big data in terms of techniques and technologies that make handling data at extreme scale affordable. We're clearly focusing on Hadoop here, which is, well, let me just say the foundation for what's going on in big data today. When you look at that, that way of managing it is Hadoop and how Hadoop becomes that new way to process that data. And if you notice in this diagram, it's very purposeful. Hadoop is not this whole layer. It's not saying that this is going to be the one data system or database or data architecture to rule them all and it's going to replace all of these existing systems. That's not the case. What companies and people like about Hadoop is you don't need to structure the data or determine what its schema, its structure needs to be. You just push it in here. This is basically a, a large file system. That's what we do as a business, is put all that together, ensure it runs as a consistent framework, put that out back into open source, <coughs> test it across all those platforms, and then support it as you want to go run it in production. I think if you do this right, and you build the right foundation, all of these companies should prosper, and you've built an ecosystem where you could choose any of these and know that things are pre-certified, work together, and work together out of the box. And our view is, you know, it is now with these types of environments in Yarn, absolutely Hadoop has crossed the chasm. You know, in the last year as a company, we've signed up probably about 120 customers. So there's a very broad set of customers that are using Hortonworks data platform, HTP. You know, as an example in Europe, here's just a subset of some of the companies in Europe who are using it. Using Hadoop, we're able to basically use a lot more interactive voice recognition and online self-service so that those calls that were frankly not productive don't even hit the call center. That's just one example. Hadoop is a wonderful solution here because it offloads the ETL work. In other words, the parsing, cleansing, applying structure, transforming the data, all that gets pushed out to Hadoop and the unit cost here is certainly less than one-tenth of what we're paying for the actual enterprise data warehouse. And only then is the data actually um, loaded into the EDW. And the beautiful side effect of this is, number one, is we have a few more years to grow into our EDW in that, in that case, number one. Um, number two is the EDW can focus a lot more of its time doing what it does best, which is the actual analytics that you get value out of. And then finally, you can retain all the data for analysis and all the data is basically live and online and searchable in that sense. Um, we're working with both um, Mercedes, the um, you know, so Daimler, the maker of Mercedes cars, as well as BMW. Fairly soon we'll be in a scenario where literally every single car that comes off the production line will have LTE 4G connectivity, so it's, it constantly spits out a stream of data. You can go with the um, original Apache Hadoop projects, but of course then you have no commercial support, so you probably wouldn't want to do this in good faith for a production environment. Or, and this is why I'm here today, you can go with Hortonworks as a fully open source distribution. For us as a, as a large service provider, our Basic operating assumption is in the next three years, more than 50% of the new data coming in, measured in petabytes, not in, in pounds or dollars, will first and foremost land on Hadoop. So Hadoop will become very fundamental from an architectural and strategic perspective for us. <laughs>